The zombie has his weapon. <laughs> He's trying to eat the rocks. That's not a brain, zombie. That's not it's not a brain. Whoa! <laughs> Run, what is up, guys? Today we are building household item apocalypse weapon. So imagine this: you're inside your house. All of a sudden, zombies show up outside, and you gotta build a weapon using only items inside your house in order to fight the zombies, or you're gonna die. So that means there's gonna be no store runs like we normally do. Only items in your house. So we're each gonna go to our own house to build our weapons. And there's gonna be different points that we're gonna be judging the weapons to see which one is the best. And you guys are gonna be able to decide which weapon you like the best in a poll. Let's get dangy. We're gonna go to Rob's house first and he's gonna build the first weapon. Meanwhile. Take the dogs! Ah! Catch me outside, how about that? Guys, it is raining so hard. Yeah, that's why we have to film a household video because it's flipping raining. Bunch of wet zombies out there, bro. Three. What's up, people? Welcome to MTV Cribs. This is my crib, and yo, 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 we're in here today. We're in this play, play, place. Um, so I have to find stuff to make a weapon out of, and I literally only have the bare minimum here. So you're at the disadvantage here because yeah. you recently moved in, so obviously you don't have as much stuff. So we'll see what he can do. Where do I'm going to start in my office. So what's in your office here, Rob? Yeah. So um, I don't really have much. Also, it's a big mess in here. Rob, well, we all know that you just moved in, so it's okay. One thing I do have in here is a baseball bat. All right, well that's that's our starting point because there's nothing <gasps> else in, in here. Stop it. All right, people. So I found uh, these old uh, pull-up bars. Somehow I'll try and make a weapon out of them. I want Bonnie to come love me, dude. Come here, Bonnie. We're almost done taking apart the thingamajigger. We have some pretty good looking parts for some weapons. While I wait for Robert to finish up, let's let's play with Bonnie with this little pointer. <gasps> oh, there she found it. Give him back, Bonnie. <laughs> Face of it is done. It's gonna be like a sledgehammer looking thing. Ooh. Spring down fire. Gonna maybe find something we could attach to this. We still have these plastic parts from the pull-up bars. So I put them together. We're gonna put them right on here. And then I found some string attached to these binoculars and this uh, frightened fast lane that we're gonna tie it together with. Cut that off, cut that off. Is that a karambit? Yeah, it's a gold karambit. That's cool. The threads are coming apart, so I'm gonna go get a lighter, fuse that together. What if you drop that on your fluffy carpet and then your whole apartment goes to blaze? Don't want the smoke alarms going off. I'll inhale it. So you got your, uh, your mighty staff. Oh, it's got some decent weight to it, actually. Nice little handle grips. <laughs> Just like that. All right. That nice and tight. Now we're gonna take the second one and do the same exact thing. All right, I think I think I'm uh, I think I I I I think I I I I I I um I think I um I think I'm finished. Dude, this is pretty cool. Let me see it. Go. You know, for a, hey, stop it. Don't no, stop it. You're gonna throw it on my TV. So you know, for a homemade weapon, it's not bad. Yeah, you, you found a pull up bar and you tied a string around it. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go build and a. You bolted it and, and what, you did it. What are you gonna do, huh? No. Oh, what do you name it? Gonna name it not your average weapon. Get it? Cause there's knots on this. No. <laughs> the swole buster. The swole buster. The swole buster. Because <laughs> you get swole using the pull-up bar. Robert, yeah. nice weapon. Let's see how I do. We're going to head to my house now. So we are now in my house and we're going to build a weapon. Um, I don't really know. What? Let me in. What? Dude, there's a zombie out there. Really? Yeah. Where have you been, dude? See, there he is. Well, I was running away from zombies. What I had that? to make some errand runs. Oh. Well, um, did you get bit? Uh, did you get be it. I don't think so. That's good. Jeez. Oh, it's just Rob. I thought it was a zombie. What? I took care of the zombie. Oh, okay. Jeff, I'm curious to see what kind of opening you're going to make because you have a lot more stuff than I do. I do got a lot more stuff than you do, bro. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just Let's see here. If we go into my kitchen, I got all sorts of knives. Oh. Bro. It's Hi, Max. He's wet. He can't come in. Let's go. So we're gonna leave him out there with the zombies. They crave brains, so I think he's okay. I think Jeffrey, in this case, would be safe from the zombie apocalypse too. Oh, oh yeah, because you don't need a weapon. On at Chris's house. Okay, let's go. This actually was a piece of my truck. I could use this as a weapon. Dude, that's the maneuverability of that would be terrible. Yeah. Okay, so we got an office in here. Ooh. Good. Uh... Okay, check this out. This rock here that I can use for bashing a brain. Oh, it's my black belt. Oh, oh, I could use this. When I was in martial arts, I got my black belt. 
We could potentially use this as like part of a whip or something. We're gonna be putting all of my supplies here and we'll, we'll come back. I have an old Apple watch that's broken. I potentially could use this guitar stand here. Okay, let's go to my garage, guys. Come on. To the garage. Ooh, we can use this old fan, potentially. Is that a Mercedes Benz hoverboard? Uh, like if you need some kind of like staff or something. Well, you never know what I'm gonna do. You think you could outrun zombies in that thing? No. Scanning, 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 scanning. Scanning. I do have this one curtain hanger here. Here's this one, check it out. It's like, look at this thick metal here. You have a bunch of stuff already, you know. Just make something. Dude, this is just a flail by itself right here. We could use this as a flail. We could tie this black belt to this stone, this lava rock here. So I was a black belt in, in Taekwondo, but now I'm a black belt in zombie killing. We'll let your weapon be the judge of that. Okay, guys, I actually legit secured this like really well. And I kind of want to add some more danginess to it. We're going to add this Apple Watch for so we can tell the time during zombies killing time. I want to figure out something to make the other side dangy. I guess this is going terribly wrong. Dude, if you use this, look, you got this metal pole in here. Use that. Oh, attach this at the end of the pole. Yeah. Ooh. So now we're going to tie this epic weapon of epic proportions. Yeah! Dude. Dude, that's gonna fly off. This is freaking epic. And I'm gonna go around my hoverboard killing zombies. This is my weapon. It features a meteor and an Apple watch and a curtain hanger. So I'm gonna call it the meteor shower. <laughs> cool. So we are gonna go to my house so I can build my weapon. We gotta be very careful because there's zombies out there. Uh, Rob and Jeff, bring your weapons so you can protect me. Okay, I'm gonna use this table. Oh, oh cool. For my weapon. <laughs> it's not working. Oh, that's the other. Look at Galaxy. I think it's a good idea to like Jeffrey, uh, get a whole bunch of stuff, see what I'm working with here. Yes. Some people wouldn't have thought to use a pan. I've got plenty of them. Very great pan. Okay, so this could possibly be something. It's not cast iron because last time I used a cast iron pan, it flew across the yard with a saw blade on it and could have hurt something. Three, two, one, Koki. Oh! I'm trying to just knock it and see what it sounds like. You weren't letting me. I'm gonna put my workstation right here. So we got a pan. Uh, I don't have much to work with. Okay, check this out. Thanks, I found Jeff. some string for you. I could use this string. I think Galaxy wants you to follow her. Oh. Let's see where she takes you. Yeah. yeah there's something under here, but I'm trying to figure out how to get it out. Oh, here we go. What the? Wow, dude, this thing gave me a ton of splinters. Dang. That is dangy. That'll work. It's a machine gun. <laughs> Dude, I don't have anything in my house and I have the biggest house. Well, here's this thing. If I could somehow break this and use this bar. What about this? Not about uh, I'm pretty weak, but it may be all that we have. Oh wait, crutches are in here? Oh, I forgot about them. This is from when I hurt myself making a filming a Danger Bro video. So unfortunately I ran out of rope to tie this umbrella on here, but every millennial is gonna have a charger as my cable to tie. Plus, who needs phones in the apocalypse? They're not even gonna work. You're right, use your resources. All right, so I've tied a knot here. We're just gonna wrap it around the umbrella. Very good. That was actually really tight. Ooh. So, this is my weapon. How's it feel? Does it feel balanced? Can I feel it? There you go. <laughs> All right, Chris, what you gonna call it? The hungry, rainy, uh, crippled guy. Try again. <laughs> I'm gonna call this one coming in crutch. Ooh. Very nice. Like clutch, you know. I feel you. So now we're gonna move on to the testing weapons portion of this video. The first weapon test is the maneuverability test. You have to run, pop all these balloons while being chased by a zombie. And if you get attacked by a zombie, you don't get your point, but you have to go into the fort bunker to be safe. Robert's up first, let's do it. Rob, how are you feeling, bro? Uh, energetic and uh, I, uh, um, I, um, I, uh, I have a good swing, I guess, uh, as, as I'm told. Mr. Zombie, how, how are you feeling? Ah! Holy shoot! <laughs> Rob, what did you do with your weapon? He only popped two balloons, so he gets two points. You jumped, you threw your weapon. Ryan was really scary. <laughs> okay, Robert got two points, now my turn. Jeff, how are you feeling about this? This is gonna be hard to, to hit a, and pop a balloon with, so, and that, that, this kind of weird. What is he doing over there? Kind of creeping me out, but we'll see how I do. What's wrong with the zombie? Dude, what's wrong with him? Zombie! Hey! Attack the guy with the yellow sweatshirt! Oh, he missed! He's missed two balloons! 
Oh shoot, I can't see what's happening. Oh, oh the zombie fell. He's going back for the other balloon. Nope. No! Nope. Stupid! Psycho! What the? What is happening? <laughs> zombie, get him, get him, zombie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the zombie has his weapon. <laughs> He's trying to eat the rock. That's not a brain, zombie. That's not, not a brain. Whoa! <laughs> Run, <laughs> All right, Jeff, Jeff, you lose, bro. I can't do it. You lose, bro. Mine sucks for the balloons. I only got one point. Jeff only got one. All right, Chris, how are you feeling about this round here? Uh, I think that this is gonna come in crutch. Yeah. And if I get bit, then I can use this uh, as a crutch. Okay. Run, <laughs> Chris! <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's cracking me up, dude. <laughs> <That's so crazy. laughs> oh, you got one point. I lose durability. Look, my Oh, weapon. you do lose durability. And then you got one point. Chris, you realize that this cancels out your, your points to zero. So Rob has two points, yeah. I have one, and you have zero. Not looking good for me, fam. For the next challenge, you have to hit three items. A watermelon, a plank, and a brick. For each one you break, you get a point. I'm going first. Hey, zombie. Is that a spoon? What are you doing? Here we go! Alright Rob, get smashed in. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Oh, oh it broke. No! That, that cracked. On you the next still one. Use your weapon. It cracked. No, that's, get away! No! That's not a brain. Bad. Bad zombie. Will you break the wood? Oh! Oh! That was a lot easier than I thought. No problem. Will he break the brick? I don't think he's gonna break the brick. Will he break the brick? <laughs> he broke, broke it! It. <laughs> it doesn't count. Yeah, you gotta break it like... Like a whole brick. It doesn't count. Two more swings. Oh! Oh! The, how's that weapon so strong? You get a point for it. Wow, I wasn't Jeez. expecting that. Okay, minus the durability point. Got me. But, but you get plus two three points. So yeah. I'm at four. All right, now we're gonna see how my weapon do. The meteor shower. I'm gonna give you a countdown, Jeff. You ready? I'm Wait. ready. Three. I'm ready. Two. One. Go. Don't miss. Oh, that was Ooh, a nice hit. That was a good hit. That destroyed that with ease. All right, next one. I'll miss. Yeah. Hey, Jeff, Jeff, you're actually really accurate today. And my weapon is still intact. Yay. Dang. And it's still intact. What the heck? Freaking meteor shower works so well, so strong. Five points for me and for meteor shower. Wow, I'm impressed. So let's see if I can come back from this. Dang. I don't know. Ooh. No, I can't. We'll still give it our best shot. So everyone wants to see the pain fly off and hit someone. This. Your weapon sucks. What the? Let me try one more time. There we go. <laughs> All right, I broke it. You broke it. I'm Moving on to the next one. You might want to step back. Oh, I broke it. I do not think that you're gonna be able to break this center block. You wanna bet? You know, I feel so confident I'm gonna waste one of my swings. Oh, wow, missed. you missed. Wait, sorry. I told you. Crutch, bro. Broke you the crutch. One more swing. Last one swing. One more swing. Oh! oh. Dang. Just broke it! So Chris's final score is three. I have four, Jeff has five. I got five, so I'm Zay Wiener. Paul, right oh, here, right, right here. now. Boom bada bang. Which Click one you it. like the best? Be there or be square. Meter shower. Because you're not around. Coming in crutch. Uh, uh, swole buster. Swole buster. We hope you enjoyed this video. Click here for the previous video. Click here for the video. YouTube right. recommends. And click on Jeff's hat. Click on the subscribe. And we'll see you later.